but uh, I guess we'll see what this tastes like. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey, I'm Lauren. I am currently following the WW Blue Plan and have been for about 15 months. And I have lost over 55 pounds at this point on my weight loss journey. I have right around 100 pounds left to go. And today I thought, I know there's a lot of people who are just starting the WW program. It's January, a fresh start, a fresh year. And I thought maybe you guys want to see a what I eat in a day on the WW Blue Plan. So I currently get 41 points a day along with 42 weekly points. Personally, I try to hold off on using my weekly points unless I really need them or we decide to do a dinner out over the weekend or something like that. So I am going to be sticking to my 41 points today. I also find though that I want to try and make it close without going over my daily points. Like some days I find I've eaten lower point foods and if I'm just not getting up to that 41 points, I notice my weight loss stall out when I'm consistently not making my points. So I'm trying to get all 41 points in today without going over. I'm gonna share everything I eat today with you guys and my full point total at the end of the video. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy seeing what I eat in a day kind of content. I have never been much of a breakfast person, to be honest, until I started WW. And I think it's because when I load up on some of my points in the morning, I'm making sure to get some carbs and protein in first thing and not skipping it and then being starving by like lunchtime, I'm making better choices throughout the day. So I think it's really important to attempt to have some sort of a breakfast when you're on WW. It helps start your metabolism first off in the morning and just gets you going and feeling energized. So we are loading up on the protein today. It is post holidays. I need all the help I can get getting back on track and having some energy to get this house clean and put together today. We took down most of our Christmas decorations over the weekend, but I still have some more cleaning to do today. So protein filled breakfast. Yum. I am doing a bagel thin with about a tablespoon of light cream cheese on each half and then smoked salmon pieces, three ounces, and a sprinkle of the Everything But The Bagel Sesame Seasoning Blend from Trader Joe's. Love that stuff. And then I have just some fruit, some grapes on the side for zero points. These are egg muffins. I'm sharing the recipe in Friday's video. It's my monthly meal prep video. So I went ahead and made about two dozen of these egg muffin cups over the weekend and guys, they're so delicious. I put a bunch of them in the freezer so I didn't have to worry about them going bad and you just pull out however many you want, pop them in the microwave for about a minute to a minute and a half depending on your microwave and you have a protein packed breakfast. I also am grabbing my big old turbis full of water. This is my first one of the day. I just put a little squeeze of lemon in it and it's nice and icy cold. I am making myself drink a full turbis, which is I believe 32 ounces of water before I can have my coffee this morning. I'll end up having my coffee just slightly later. Maybe I'll do a protein coffee. Um, Anyway, I'm gonna have that more of like a morning snack, but I'll share it all with you guys. I find that if I get myself drinking water before I drink my coffee, I'll keep drinking it throughout the day. If I start off with coffee first thing in the morning, it's also harder for me to switch back to more water throughout the rest of the day. So January, I'm kind of doing something this year in the new year um, with my goals and that's every month I bought a new planner calendar like everybody out there. And what I'm doing with it is each month I'm gonna put in a new focus and I'm gonna share it with all of you guys in case you wanna follow along. But January's focus is hydrate. Water is a symbol of rebirth and renewal. And I feel like after the holidays, everybody needs some more water in their life. So that's our goal this month is to get more water in. I think this month I'm also going to try the, I drank a gallon of water a day for seven days challenge, just to see how that helps me kick off my January. And then hopefully that water drinking habit will stick more the rest of the month and continuing on through 2021. So grab your water, cheers. We're gonna go eat some breakfast and I'll see you later when I make my coffee. Okay guys, we are gonna make some coffee. It is time, it is about, oh my goodness, it's already 10.45, I haven't had any coffee yet. Most mornings I just do hot coffee in a regular old coffee pot, old school style, with some sugar-free creamer for a couple of points. But 
my coffee maker died. So luckily, during quarantine, I was really on all of the Instagram That's and TikTok me. trends. <laughs> Lila likes to help me make this kind of coffee. It's fun. Um, but when I was doing the whipped coffee over the summer, I still have some instant coffee at home. And I discovered in my coffee video from the fall, I don't know if you guys checked that one out. It was one of my first videos I posted. That's all meal you use this in your oatmeal but this is maple syrup and so the whipped coffee trend was basically you use one tablespoon of instant coffee with one tablespoon usually of regular sugar but i tested it out with maple syrup as a substitute and it totally works and i would much rather use maple syrup or honey to replace white sugar in my diet if i can so we're gonna whip this up i'm gonna show you how we do it and do a taste test so we're doing the maple syrup whipped coffee but the only milk I have home is 2%. And when I was doing that before, I was using almond milk, which made it a lot less points. You only have 2% home because Lila's really the only one who drinks milk on a regular basis. So I'm gonna try mixing a protein. Mm -hmm. And it's cookies and cream. I like accidentally got this one. I thought it was chocolate when I bought it at the store. But uh, I guess we'll see what this tastes like. Okay, so for the whipped coffee, we're going to do one tablespoon of instant coffee, one tablespoon of the maple syrup. We are going to use our mixer and whip it up until it creates this creamy, stiff peak consistency. And once we have that, I will put a glass with ice in it with the Premier Protein in and put this on top and then we'll mix it in. And hopefully it'll taste good because I'm going to drink it either way because I need the caffeine today. So, oh, my love! cooking with toddlers. So that wasn't working and I didn't know why. And I realized I forgot you also have to add in an equal part of water. So equal parts, coffee, sugar of some sort, and water, one tablespoon of each. Yeah, you did. So it's all whipped up. It kind of looks like peanut butter. But it doesn't taste like peanut butter. Don't eat it. You won't like it. Mm-mm. Well, it looks very pretty, but how will it taste? Okay, I was trying to be cute with it in that little ball mason cup, but it was too small. So I transferred it to a bigger cup and stirred it up. See how it creates like that foamy top? I like it. It's very creamy. It's almost like when you get the foam tops at like Starbucks and things like that, the cold foams, um, that same consistency. I know it's a lot, I know it's not as thick, but it's just like a very creamy, chocolatey coffee drink. I don't really notice the cookies and cream at all. I can taste the coffee. I cannot taste the maple, so that just worked as a really neutral sugar substitute for not having a coffee maker or any other options other than drinking an Alani energy drink first thing which those, I'm not sure how I feel about them yet. I haven't told you guys my thoughts yet because I'm not really sure myself. They're very sweet. I am pleased, this will work. So it is just after two o'clock. Honestly, I had that protein coffee mid-morning and I'm not super hungry, but I know if I don't eat something now this afternoon, I'm gonna just want to get snacky and that's when my day falls apart at the end of the day. If I completely skip over lunch, it's like it becomes a downhill free for all. It's like dinner and then snacks until I go to bed kind of a thing. So I'm trying to spread my points out better throughout the day to help my metabolism. So I'm gonna go ahead and have kind of like a snacky lunch. So, and it's all from Trader Joe's, which you guys know I love. Um, all of this was actually shared in my last Trader Joe's haul. So I'll link that above. If you guys like Trader Joe's hauls, you guys can check it out. Um, but here is what I'm going to have. So I have 11 of the peanut butter filled pretzels from Trader Joe's. That's gonna come in at five points for 11 pieces a two point light string cheese from Trader Joe's. And then this, I actually picked these up for our stockings. I just put a couple in each of Josh and I's and I haven't tried it yet. Josh tried it and said they were really good, but this comes in, I think at three points on the blue plan um, for this whole beef stick. So I got a little like meat and cheese situation. You guys know I love a good charcuterie plate. So I'm gonna have this, um, 
lunch. It's, it's more of a lunch. I mean, all in all, it ends up being 10 points, which is kind of a lot for a snack. So this is definitely going to qualify as lunch for me today. And then I still have points, plenty of points left for dinner and maybe a little sweet treat tonight. I already know what I'm making for dinner tonight and it's pretty low point. So that's why I want to make sure I get some points in now instead of later, because when I have a ton of points left over at the end of the day, I'm going to want to eat things that aren't good choices, even though they're in my points. And I know with Weight Watchers, nothing is off limits. I'm trying to reset my sugar intake from the holidays because I am definitely a person who's been a sugar addict before. And when I'm having it more frequently, I'm like craving it all the time. And I really need to cut back in order to stop those cravings from happening. A little bit is fine. I actually went ahead and pulled out um, another thing I had from stockings. These are super good. I've already tried them, but I also got them at Trader Joe's. They came in a pack of three and they're the dark chocolate salted caramel bar thin. So it's like a really yummy thin little chocolate bar. It's there and they are thin like they're, um, but it's like a perfect few bite treat and it's six points. It's real chocolate. And so I'm gonna, I went ahead and pulled this <laughs> to put on the counter to remind myself throughout the day, you get this at the end of the night as long as you don't keep snacking all day long. And of course, I'm still drinking water. I am almost finished with my second turvis. How do you count water-based drinks? So like LaCroix or other sparkling waters that are zero points, they're water-based, it's all carbonated water with flavoring, or even crystal light, which is just the powder mixed inside of water. Are you counting those ounces towards your water intake? Or is that like bonus water? So let me know down in the comments below. I'm really interested to know how you guys count that. Hey guys, sorry, it's a lot later now. It is around six o'clock. Josh is heading home from the office. So I'm kind of getting dinner all prepped and ready to go so we can eat as soon as he gets home. And tonight we are having some spaghetti squash with spicy chicken sausage pasta faux pasta, I guess. Um, we're having squash -ta. Okay, so to make our spaghetti squash pasta, all I did was prep a spaghetti squash. I cut it in half. I put a little olive oil drizzle on the inside and on the back, and then you can just season it how you want on the inside. I just did some salt and pepper and some garlic powder, and then I put it in the oven on 400 for about 40 minutes. Um, when you take it out, you just want to make sure like it's soft at the back and then I leave it face down and it's going to finish steaming and it's gonna be so easy to pull that way. So you just wait till it's cooled down a bit to handle. And then I've prepped our other ingredients. We're using the Trader Joe's spicy Italian chicken sausage. This is a full pack. It's four sausage links. One link is three points, but this squash pasta is going to make four servings. So I'm still, it'll still be one sausage per person. Um, we're gonna, Josh and I will both eat it and then we'll have it for leftovers another night as well this week. And then I just have some of the meal prepped frozen veggies that I did um, earlier this week. I'm sharing a big monthly meal prep video at the end of this week, so take a look at that. But I went ahead and when I'm meal prepping a bunch of stuff, I just chop some extra veggies. I put them either in the fridge or freezer so they're easy like this and I don't have to chop that up now tonight. And then the Priano from Aldi marinara sauce, which is three points for a half a cup. We used this the other night for Lila, so there is four half cup servings left. So it'll be perfect. So we're gonna pull and shred the spaghetti squash. I'm gonna saute together the chicken and the bell peppers just till they kind of warm through. And then I will toss on top the marinara sauce and then we will add the pulled spaghetti squash noodles and incorporate it all. Okay guys, dinner is served. I went ahead and added just a little bit of low moisture part skim shredded mozzarella cheese, um, which is just a couple little extra points. I had a decent amount of points left over yet. So we're gonna have some squash stuff and I will check in a little bit later with my sweet treat added into my points and my final total for the day. I don't think I can hold out for my chocolate guys. We're going for a cone. Okay guys, it is the end of the day. I'm about to go take a bath. I'm gonna take that big old glass of water up with me and I will have that to finish off as well as I saved room just enough points for my little treat. I know 
I just had a treat earlier. But I have the points left and I'm hungry. And you know what? For your first full day back on WW, we're gonna have our treat because we're in points and we did great. So we are just at point today. I have used 41 out of 41 of my points today and I feel good. I have felt hungry today, starting in the later part of the day. And this is the first time I have felt hungry. Like I've acknowledged in my head and realized I felt hungry for the first time in like two weeks because I haven't really been tracking. And that is the first thing I notice when I go from not tracking a lot of times I don't eat regularly throughout the day. I'm really bad about that. Being back on points, I'm more planful and make sure I eat my points over the course of the day instead of having coffee in the morning, maybe a snack later, and then like binging all of my points at night. It's not good. So even though I lost weight in December, I feel like that was kind of the habit I was in. Um, I was staying within my calories and in my points, but you know, I just, I feel like this Weight Watchers tracking and way of eating and throughout the day, spreading out my food more is so much healthier for my body and my metabolism. And I feel great after my first day back. So I hope you enjoyed this video today, taking a look at what I eat in a day on the WW Blue Plan. I know that not everyone gets 41 points a day, but hopefully you found some snack ideas or meal ideas that you can incorporate into your next day that you're planning for your WW program. So don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and the notifications bell so you can join me for my next video. Smash that like button if you like this kind of content so I know to film some more what I eat in a days or what I eat in a weeks for you guys. And also check me out on Instagram. I post a lot of my daily meals and what I'm eating in a day on my Instagram on a regular basis. So it might not be a full day's worth of meals, but you can get a good idea day to day what I'm actually eating to stay on track and on my plan. So until next time, thanks so much for joining me. Make sure you check back Friday for that big monthly meal prep video that I've been talking about in this video. And until then, see ya. Bye. I get up, I always do.